Okay, let's add the centers on these sunflowers. I am using a mixture of my mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue plus one part alizarin crimson, and I've added liquid into that. And now I'm going to start making my centers for my sunflowers. First, I'm going to do these in the front, just to kind of give me a reference point. Centers are round, but as the flowers turn, they become more oval. And the sunflowers, they turn their heads this way and that in the wind. If it's a real sunny day, you'll, you could see a field that they're all facing exactly the same way. But these, I'm kind of letting the wind blow them around a little bit. That ocean breeze is, is blowing the flowers. So there are different directions, but you can see I've got my basic shapes of all the petals in there. And that's okay if I pick up some of that yellow on the brown. It just gives a little new dimension to the to the center of the flower because those centers are not just totally black. This one go off the side of the, the canvas. Again, this is just my mud plus liquid. Those petals kind of come down over the centers sometimes. It's not just, they're not just totally round. Just dots here and there. I mean, we're just, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but as the sunflowers turn and twist, then the petals come down in front of the the center. So you don't always just see full circles within the, the centers of the flowers. This one's turned, so it's more of an oblong. And notice how I'm, now I'm starting to make these as we go back a little bit smaller. Oh my goodness, it's starting to rain. We weren't scheduled to have rain today. But you never know, those weathermen, they aren't always right. They said hot and sunny. I'm glad to get the rain. Our garden sure appreciates it. Now I'll come back and add these petals on the, the top side. Right now I just want to get all of my centers in. And the liquid also uh, makes the paint dry faster too. It's a, it's a dryer. It thins it and also makes, makes it dry quicker. Now this, that center is really turned. This flower is pretty well turned sideways so you don't see a whole lot of the center. So you're going to see a little bit more. Don't see much of this one or this one. Or that one. They're all turned sideways and down. Now we're going to start going back and what I'm going to do is to kind of give me a reference point. I'm going to then add centers in the flowers in the distance and I just randomly we're not going to really define those flowers completely but I just want to indicate centers back there. You can see how these are already looking like sunflowers. I mean, it's just amazing. You get those little characteristics in there. And I don't want these to be just super dark. That one got a little dark. But I can come back and do some of my flower color over it. These are just faint and small. They're all different directions. They're just, you don't want them in the same, you don't want them like polka dots, e evenly spaced. I think that's one of the hardest things for me to do. I, I have a tendency to, if I'm doing a row of trees or something, they end up looking like fence posts or telephone poles. They're all 
same distance apart. You want your, your flowers to look natural. These are just very faint back here, very small, because again, we don't we don't want these to come forward. We want them to, to stay in the background. We want them to be there, but not take your attention, not draw your eye. That paint's already starting to dry. I prefer oils to acrylics because I don't like uh, working with the, the dry paint. It's, I prefer the oils where you can go back in and work them for several days or at least a couple of days. Now I'm going to, as I come forward, I'm going to use a little bigger brush and start making these centers bigger. By having the two reference points, the small ones and the large ones, then it's easy to make the transition in between and that gives me the distance, the perspective. And these are a little bit larger. Back by the tree I still don't want them real large. But I want them larger than the, the ones behind the trees. Now we start making them a little bit larger, and then I'll come back in and add more foliage around these. Start making them look more like sunflowers. But you can see how that's already giving the impression of distance giving depth to the painting. This is just that perspective of the centers getting larger as they come forward. This one I'm going to start making larger centers. See how those start going back. That shows you how I do, how I block in the field of sunflowers. There's still more work to be done. You can see the rest of that on my blog. You can follow the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting. On the blog, you'll see the whole process from start to finish. I have written descriptions and also several videos. So please come follow along. The link to my blog is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video. And just please subscribe to my blog. You'll get an email every time I make a new post. So I really appreciate you watching. And just today, as you're out and about, maybe going to the grocery store or something, 
and you look out maybe there's a lady that's got several kids they're home for the summer and she's got her hands full with a, a baby and kids and her groceries are just she's got more to do than what she knows what to do with go give her a hand that's just go help somebody or somebody maybe you see an elderly person struggling with a door with a walker and wheelchair or something go give them a hand so you, I thank you very, very much, and please, you can always ask questions in the comments section, and you just have a wonderful, wonderful day, and happy painting.